Hello there. Hi. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, I have never played Harvester. I'm vaguely aware of a lot of the things that go on in it. Um, I've seen other playthroughs of it, I think, a while ago. Let me just turn the game down slightly more. That's better. Um, but I've, I've never actually played Harvester myself. I've never subjected myself to it. Um, oh yeah. I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna be a cringy one. How are you doing, Lady Mage? I see, I see you've just followed, so it's, it's nice to have you following the streams. Welcome. I hope you enjoy, uh, what I have to offer. Anyway. With, uh, I don't really think I've got anything else to say right now other than, oh boy, here we go. Um, and I'm gonna click new game. Hey, how you doing? Okay. It's Des, right? So I'm sorry, sometimes name, like, usernames confuse me and I wanna make sure I'm getting the right name. It's Des, right? Let me, just, just correct me if I'm wrong. Let your heart fly, 85. <laughs> I got it, good. See, I, I just get a bit... Oh, yeah. Anyway, you might notice that the aspect ratio changes with the cutscenes. Um, it's actually really fortunate that... Um, <laughs> it's really fortunate that it does that because I was worried that it would mess up the, uh, the way it recorded. Um, unfortunately, I mean, sorry, fortunately it doesn't. Um, or unfortunately, depending on how you want to see Harvester. <laughs> so this is, uh... It, it, it takes place in the town of Harvest, um, where there's some spooky goings on. Yeah, th thanks, Dozbox. <laughs> yeah, but l luckily OBS picks up the fact that it changes, uh, you know, changes sizes, so it still looks fine. Spooky, scary goings on. I also added a uh, spooky, scary portrait in the corner of myself. Also, this intro really reminds me of um, Phantasmagoria 1 in a lot of ways. Oh no. I, I love. <laughs> I love this text as well. It's so dramatic. Like a So dramatic. I'm loving the uh, the, the middies as well. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Hey, don't worry, I don't either. I I very rarely have any idea what's going on. Um, this game is going to be a, a testament to that. Was I at the two old men panel at CoxCon? I don't think I went to that one, Cat. I think... I think uh, I ended up being busy elsewhere while that was going on. <laughs> A strange symbol. That was in the, uh, the, f the field earlier. That's a beautifully rendered alarm. Apart from the the hammer going through the bells, you can actually see the model clipping through. It's pretty rendered, guys. Come on. Um, let me know how. Oh god, he's shirtless. We're immediately greeted with shirtless hairy man. I, need to, I think I need to turn the volume down a little bit more. Hold on. Just a smidgen. A little smidgen more. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we're back, Freckles. So here we are, I guess. Um, this is Harvester. Let's see. What's... Examine the clarinet. Obviously, some fat high school girl left it there. 
That's not very nice. Examine the record player. Paper doll by the Mills Brothers. Sits on the turntable. Um, wall clock. One of your typical wall clocks. I mean, I guess. They could have, couldn't have come up with a more interesting... <laughs> um... A 148 scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. Oh, that's a shame. I recently watered a plastic plant. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it like a... Oh. Steve just walked into the... Uh, the thing? The, the bed? An official dust ball basketball. Autographed by GPF. Okay. Trash can. The dresser drawer is unlocked. Uh, have a look inside. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Oh, Pixel Punch wants to know who ate all the donuts and donated 25 bits. Uh, thank you very much, Pixel Punch. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Dust Bowl. I was thinking that. Uh, I'm glad you picked it up when I didn't. Porter. Can I take it? Yes. Uh, a pen. Two marks are visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. I'll take that. Sunglasses? As of yet, the future isn't so bright. Um, all right, I guess there's nothing else in there. Exit. Big old exit sign. Uh, a cheap folding chair, such as you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and other religious gatherings. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else worth looking at in here. Let's have a look in the mirror. You peer through a thin layer of dust at your reflection. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue sheet blue, blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. All right, let's uh let's leave and um Okay. The perspective doesn't quite look right. Um <laughs> but that's okay. Because Steve looks tiny, tiny little man, and then you got this giant child. This is Hank. Hello Hank. What? What? Where am I? In the doghouse, if you keep bugging me, because I'm sick, and I'll tell Mom if you don't let me watch TV. Okay. You sick? What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. Of course. You look all right to me. I'm not faking it. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Shut up. Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night oh. pretty hard. He stayed in bed. Wow, okay. I saw what she did to him. You just gonna say it's that? Pretty bad. What did she... You just gonna straight up say that? Like you don't know. I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now. Huh. Too bad you wouldn't pay me and I had to tell. Huh. huh. What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there an other one too? Wait till I tell. This kid is a better actor than the protagonist. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what girl you're talking about. I like how he's talking to him from the, talking sorry talking to him from the other side of the room, <laughs> staring into space. You think I'm dumb or something? Yes. No, I just can't remember anything. Like I said. Well, you better remember quick, cause the wedding's in two weeks. What? Maybe what? Home so I can watch TV. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean retro? This one fat TV. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I... Now that I think about it, I can't remember. I can't remember. What was that oh you my said god! About retro rockets? No, retro. It means... It means... Oh no. Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. Well, I, I'm going to drop a, a fact on you guys, by the way, because someone is bound to bring this up at some point. Um, I say it is, this is going to be a little bit too real. Um, so let me just let me just drop this out there. The actor who plays Steve, the main character, um, nearly ten years ago now was uh, arrested for having child porn. So that's that's just a, another fact about this game. That is a thing. I just wanted to mention it because somebody was was bound to bring it up at some point. 
So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> we won't say much more than that. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. He was wearing the I same know. shirt in the mugshot. It was actually, wasn't he? Hey, look at that. It you looked like the exact like same character. This stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made yeah. America great. Ooh. And besides, blood and guts are needed. They sure are, kiddo. Alright, that's really neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad. For a lousy rat. I'm not a lousy rat. Alright, see ya. Other. Uh. Harvest. Say what? Okay. Uh. Other. Uh. Mom. Mom's in the kitchen. And if you bring okay. me, I'll call her. I Wish like. I just. Do you know me? Wish I didn't. Because then you wouldn't be my brother. And I'd have your room. And all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway. Because you're a lousy rat. And color hasn't been you're in my brother. <laughs> no, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to, to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. <laughs> I hope the mother's portrait. Steve, are you talking to me? You talking yeah, to me? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> this I'm delivery. I need your help. I've lost my memory. I've lost Have my not. memory. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were, Kidder Steve. <laughs> when you there it is. I'm There's the line. Sick. You always were, Kidder Steve. Good. Fine. All right. I think if you right click, uh, you can punch. Yep. So this is a, this is an adventure game, um, with combat. Which works about as well as you would expect it to, um, which is not well. <laughs> no, it's not well at all. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go visit uh, dear mother in the kitchen. Yes. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are oh. you? That's a fine way to talk. You get a game over punching your brother. You're my I don't mother. know. I'm not sure if he can. That's right. So I don't think he can get close enough to punch him. Help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks. God, that wide. smile. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. <laughs> Land sake, the lips. Stop your joshing, won't you? <laughs> Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So the smile strikes a fear. We've already established Your that, Steve. M U D Mud. If you don't stop teasing me, young man. Mud. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. There it is again. I'm serious. Sure. And next, you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Graduation. When did I graduate? Four months ago. As if you could forget that. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time mm. going to college. I think we need to find Stephanie. 18 years old and you're just How you doing, Frank? Your first job. Yep, this game. <laughs> but better late than never. I Come on, move a little. Oh, wait, she stopped. That. One of your DMD buddies is named Steve? Oh. Is he a kidder? And just who is Stephanie? Don't you His character is a kidder. Okay. <laughs> If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. Oh. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and now psoriasis? this. Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out, whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your poop. way, but leave me <laughs> out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And ah, she's next door. door. Okay. Note. Uh. Fiance? <laughs> this is insane. This face. Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Steph. Can something like that produce amnesia? All right, we've got. Stop this foolishness. We've right gone now through all this. Yeah. 
Stephanie is great at cooking and easy. cleaning. Cooking and cleaning? What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? He tried to act, everybody. Boys are so tried. Friends. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not yep. appreciate a hot this meal. This sure is the 1950s. If there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask This stream is cursed. That, I'm sure oh, yeah. Her duty. I mean, that's just, that's just plain harvester. You put a curse on yourself. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now, please, let me get back to my cookies. Cookies? The bake sale is on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. <laughs> but smile. they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Huh? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. <laughs> Help yourself. I wouldn't charge you. That guy's pretty funny. <laughs> what charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Huh. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? Yeah. You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. That's... You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Hmm. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem. So long as those folks okay. are taken care of. It's the I need to find out about lodge. this lodge, I guess. What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's well, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. In harvest and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with <laughs> their patented auto-dry process. Okay. Again. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of salt, Start a hall of the order of the moon day, in you. <laughs> why not walk over to the lodge you do that, Bob Barker. Mighty Bob Barker, that is. Sorry. I didn't include the mighty there. I'll look into it. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of harvest. You are not immune to proper immune to propaganda. Very true. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. Oh, that's in what that's way? for sure. Oh, I, don't I think we might drop in a couple frames. Now. Sorry about that. Why not take a walk around town and pester um, someone else? I'm busy. Sorry, I think the stream's having a bit of a moment. Let me just wait for that to get its head screwed on straight. Now, you, you probably won't notice when he frame drops because uh, the game is very static as is. But, um, I don't want to, you know. Okay, there we go. Let's try saying the F word. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna save first. Because I don't know what's going to happen if I do that. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Sure. Um, let me just save. That's a great save game screen. Wow. I love it. <laughs> That's the actual worst. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. I told you I'm. Fuck. What a thing to say to your mother. <laughs> Was that an invitation? Oh no! Your father is no! 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 <laughs> no! 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 I don't want this! I didn't mean it! I'm not I'm not doing that. You mind your mouth, young man. That's no. a fine way to talk to your mother. I don't want remember in good standing of the PTA. No, oh my don't God. to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's a it's, it's the baby there. Okay. Hey baby. What does it say on the wall? Okay. Alright, so the app, well, let's, um... After that whole thing, uh, I guess let's... Let's, uh... Do not forget that paper, trust me. I won't forget. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Ah, uh, it's Jimmy me? James. Uh, I guess not. 
I guess that's the hey, guy who wants the paper. You haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning. I'm sorry, Jimmy James. Uh, I've better things to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. Oh. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? I'm sorry. You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. Oh, I'm sorry. So what? How you doing, Victor? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the, the heck Sentinel else am building. I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Damn. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Not on me. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any... Uh, let's find sneakers for Jimmy James, then. Something really neat of. Hold on. See you later, alligator. I wonder if I can... Hold on. I want to just want to... Let's just, uh... Let's just... <laughs> I'm gonna punch a child. I want to see if this is possible. <laughs> oh, what? oh my god, he's got a gun! <laughs> what? <laughs> Good thing I saved that. Um... Um, uh, <laughs> um, whoa, I don't want to punch him again. Um, didn't I get a paper? I know I got a pen on a quarter, didn't I? Right, um, I do not know how to respond to that. Um, Let's see if I can find the paper then. Go back and put him on for being gross. I don't think you. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Can I take one? Here we go. Oh no. All right. Um. Well, he's gone. Should I reload? Um. And get the paper. Actually, I'll do that. I'll reload and give the paper to him. I'll reload. I hate this. Yeah, I reload. It's Harvester. That's all you need to know and say. I can't imagine, like, somebody who bought this game when it came out uh, and, you know, understood it. <laughs> oh. Did I not grab that? Oh, I did. Here you go, Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. There now. You murdered me earlier, Jimmy, Jimmy James. You should have given him the paper. It's too late now. He's in the house. Remember the paper in the morning. <laughs> and let's keep him that way. Okay. I feel vaguely threatened by this child. I feel like if I don't give him the paper, he will kill me at some point. And that's very worrying. Imagine you wanted Monkey Island for your birthday, but your mom got you this. That would be... How, yeah, how did he get a gun? It's in, like, his newspaper bag and everything. He was, like, ready to get that at a moment's notice. He just <laughs> pulled the thing straight out and just started shooting. I, uh... Cannot believe that. Alright. So, it said that Stephanie was next door. So, let's, uh... I guess we'll go this way? Uh, General Stop. Potsdam residence? That must be, uh, Stephanie's house. Alright. PC Gamer actually gave it a positive review before slamming it years later. So this is Mr. Potsdam. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing this music. Today? What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? Huh? Um, I came over to see Stephanie, I guess. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Um, changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. I'm sorry? Meat? Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Oh. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. Uh -huh. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. Oh. And once you're married to Stephanie, 
I'll be part of the family too. Oh. And your father will give me all the meat I want. Oh. <sighs> I uh. It makes up for not getting into the lodge. This guy loves his meat. He really loves his meat. <laughs> Why is Stephanie grounded? Well, don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam <clears throat> wants Stephanie to study hard for her finals. If it was up to me, you could go straight upstairs, but you know, <laughs> the little woman, you'll have to ask her permission to see Stephanie. I see. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is... Yeah, three servings is, is a lot of meat. Ready. Not with the meat at stake. <laughs> you will remind your dad about the meat. Three Won't servings you? a meal. Wow. I mean, I'm a vegetarian, so uh, I can't vibe with the whole meat thing. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold. I guess the I'm a commie. At the funeral parlor, since I'm not. Don't a say that, Jay. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay, and your father is going to cater the affair with plenty of meat. Um, Mr. Moynihan. Moynihan is the undertaker. Oh, of course. He also yeah. runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding. You might Dad meat a delicacy. Say Don't say that either. <laughs> Please stop being cursed. <laughs> I think he does sure like his meat. Yeah. Me. Oh. Will you do that? Tell him hi. And remind him of the meat. Remind him of the meat. Okay, dude. Is that a is that a picture of meat on the wall? The man of the house sque squeezing his meat. Squeezing his meat. Oh, Jesus. This game. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? I don't like Fortnite. Anyway. You look like my mom, except for the hair. Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing... She does look a lot like... Thing to say. Is it the same We're actress? Standing around baking cookies, same kind of dress, same pearls. So bizarre. Hmm. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Okay. Uh, pearls. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband I don't want those cookies. Time. Yeah, those cookies What's are probably wrong with not good. Pearls, for heaven's sake. Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mob. Yeah. Sitcom? Jeez, you know. A situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know. Oh my god. That. I'm much too busy with housework to watch. Yeah, that is definitely a beehive. I wouldn't Maybe be surprised if there were actual bees in that. About sitcoms. Meat cookies. So oh. TV though. She's grounded. Mm. You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. Uh huh. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though. This lodge so keep your is crossed. If he it joins sounds lodge, curious. You and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love. Oh, the Chapel of Love. Been over at oh, hey, Elliot. How you doing? Welcome to Harvester. You've already missed some very strange, very horrifying times. Um, oh, I think my frame rate's dropping slightly. You may experience some slight buffering here. Um, let's wait for that to subside. And we're back. Okay, that's good. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Um... Anything else what about the lodge? You tell me about the lodge. Oh, well, actually, it's still still lagging a bit. Just that they're exclusive oh, sorry. and secretive. Stream looks if fine. Curious, okay. You want to pick up a lodge application at the post office? And just when, whenever the little square on OBS goes red, I get worried. <laughs> Forget, Mr. Potsdam. Please don't do that. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. Yeah. My you haven't seen any like. It's probably because the game is like really static. Cut. It, you, I don't think it would affect this game quite as much. As a matter of fact, this is probably this is probably the perfect game to stream on a low bit rate because you wouldn't really notice the difference. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else I can say to her. 
Give my regards to your okay. parents. Wait, hold on. Have I, got, have I got permission to see Stephanie? Hold Hello, on. dear. Yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on. Oh, okay. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Uh, bye. Give my regards to your parents. I will. Uh, how do I get out of here? Let. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez. My stream keeps dipping into red. One second, let me just check something. Because people have come home and they might not have, uh... They might have forgotten that I was streaming. Give me a... Just give me a brief moment. I'll be right back. Let me just put it on to break. There we go. Sorry about that. Ugh. Just had to uh, quickly check if everything was all right when people weren't using too much internet. <laughs> it seems like it should be fine. Um, hopefully it'll be fine. I come back and the, I, the first thing I see you guys talk about is incest. What's going on? Or at least it's just Mighty Bob Barker. No, <laughs> what is this? Hello, Tenwin. This is Harvester. This is... I believe it's a video game. Um... Which... So that's... Hey, it's Stephanie. Who are you? It's a, yeah, a video what game. What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, hmm. isn't it? You mean... She doesn't seem to remember anything me. either. I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on There's here? music. Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Your cats have joined you in watching the stream? Oh, wow. Those people. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Um. No one will believe that I've got amnesia. I believe you. Maybe some of these people believe you. <laughs> you have amnesia, I have amnesia. Let's get married. Maybe they're playing dumb. <laughs> Perfect. Why? Maybe they're responsible. Either way, something really weird is going on here. You can say that again. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're... Oh, it's very, it. it's very Phantasmagoria, yeah. It's very, it's got a very similar vibe to it. I mentioned it earlier in the intro, because the intro has the same sort of 3D fly through a house thing that, that Phantasmagoria's intro does. Um... Yeah, Phantasmagoria's alright. I actually really like it. Well, Especially Phantasmagoria 2. That's a guilty pleasure. Yard. Not until the wedding. They won't tell you why. We'll use a rat to get a wallet. <laughs> I don't know. Me. Maybe. They make up different excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. This music just keeps cutting off so from I weird places. Watch the world outside my window. And listen to the noises in the house. Um... Every morning, a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. Hmm. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam sets out on the porch for him. 
Some morning she forgets, and the boy gets. Famous. I am. I am definitely afraid of Jimmy James, especially it's considering he's gunned me down once already. Anything else you can tell me? Is it the GOG version? Steam, weird. actually. Scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes, like something is sliding along the wall. Claws, maybe. <laughs> and Mr. Potsdam. Jimmy James Bassett. I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. <laughs> but he's always watching me. Especially him. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Hmm. Okay. Um. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this. What year is this from? 1996. This is one year after Phantasmagoria. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. It's not 2019. Oh. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Okay. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the lodge is some kind so of So we're going to do it anyway. I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Hmm. Look, why not explore the town a little? Hint. I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. Maybe. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? Those are some Maybe weird windows. Better. Why are the windows like night, round? I get scared. Oh, he's looking over again. I mean, look at the damn thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Oh God, that lip syncing was not ideal. <laughs> All right, see you, Stephanie. Ugh. Come back and visit me soon, okay? No. Well, probably. Bye. Can I go in here? How is spilled by Sim Wonder? Sims Wonder <laughs> Uh, medicine cabinet. It reeks of various toiletries. Let's have a look. Um, aspirin, aura lube, mm, uh, cough medicine, disinfectant, um, that's nothing. Vitamins, tampons, toothpaste, floss. Okay, so I guess, um, let's just get the aspirin, uh, take as much as we can, I guess. Oh, we can't take that. Vitamins, or oh, vitamins, oral lube. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's just not a pleasant, the sounding thing. Toothpaste. Nope. Uh, floss. Tampons. I, I guess we've got the tampons now. I, sure. Band-Aids. Surely... Mm, surely the Band-Aids might come in useful somewhere. Well... Oops. <laughs> Just punch, punch the air. <laughs> Steal all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, right, I guess we're done here. Goodbye, strange meat man. Punch the toilet. <laughs> okay, let's uh cut that walk cycle is so weird. This music is very creepy actually. Abandoned house, Johnson residence. Um okay, so we can explore like this. Um Meat plant Missile base uh, post office. I, I, where did we... There's the lodge in the middle. That's definitely a, an eerie building. Cemetery, of course. You always need a cemetery. Um, where should we go first? I guess let's just explore the, explore the town a bit. General store, I guess. I'm just gonna save my game. Um, because I, I, I feel fear. I feel like I, I, something is gonna kill me at any moment. Also, screaming again? I do not like this save <laughs> screen. Um, what a quaint, uh, quaint little 
general store. See if anyone gets that reference. Um, so that's the handyman. He's too busy working to notice you. Debris. Tape and broken glass, obviously professional breaking. Have I played this before? No, I have not. I've watched people, other people play it, but I've not played it myself. Um, ah, you get it, Dark Seed, yeah. Yeah. I think it's uh, someone would. Um, I can see the blue screen on that lady. Another TV. Shoddy old TV missing the v VHF knob. I don't know what that means. Does anyone know what that means? What a quaint little general star that has a tiny bit of everything but day to day existence. Doink. <laughs> can I help you, dear? Uh. This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe Phelps? you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. Well. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. Very high My frequency. Okay. Shaw. You always Good to know. Kidder, it doesn't sound like <laughs> you Steve always were a kidder, Steve. There we go again. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. You're not punching me in the head, lady. I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog. No, I don't want. I don't want in that. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, what, what do you mean, speaking of willies? Haven't seen him. What, what do you mean that? Today? What does that mean? Don't say that. <laughs> what do you mean, speaking? Of... <laughs> I don't know what she said because I got so distracted. I'm gonna say no thanks. Okay, dear. You check back if you decide there's anything you want. I'll be happy mm. to help you. Come back soon. I don't. Well, so this. Don't know if we need anything from here yet. Water cooler. Dead roaches and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. That's nasty. Um, at least it's air conditioned. So, post office, barber shop. Let's have a look at the post office. 41% uh, off packing peanuts. Assorted colors. Right. Hi. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. Um. Yeah. That might prove difficult, I'm afraid. Um. Yes. yes. I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle. Postmaster what can I do Boyle. Today? I feel like that's just like. Quote unquote humor. Like that lady. But it's like. Really? <laughs> Haven't heard of Braille Mail? I mean, I suppose it could be Braille Mail. That would actually make sense. Uh, it's like a lodge application. Mm, sorry, youngster. We're out of applications oh. right now. Come on. You must have one around here somewhere. Well, Why does this feel like a weird British master, sitcom? But you can't write on that. Because it's kind of dark and snarky. On the button, regular as clockwork. Um. Afraid not, son. Hmm. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. All right. I'm sorry. You'll just have to come back in a month. I don't have a month. Else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. Hmm. Can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Okay, I see you, Postmaster Boyle. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Yeah, right. Okay. Um. This is a strange town. Punch the. I'm not gonna punch the blind woman! <laughs> Don't tell me to do that. <laughs> He's having enough trouble. Post bastard boy. <laughs> Pastorelli's barber shop. It's an easy battle. Oh well, that's what I thought about the child. But the child gunned me down. Uh, I uh. 
Mr. Passeroli doesn't respond, not understanding English. Right, M Mr. Swell. Howdy, Steve. Hi. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Hi. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. That, that... Change your mind about that aluminum siding? The what? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Okay. Keeps it warm in the summer. Cool. Why in the is winter. there cheap? And it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get Why has the sheep got red eyes? What did I say? Um. Steve, aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. Started when those firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads with newfangled notions like color coordination and interior design. You can't. Yeah, I, there's a lot to question, Tenwin. A lot to question. <laughs> but even so, I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. Thank God for the plumbing. Good to know. Tell me about Pastorelli. Pastorelli's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons how we followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Right. Plumbing. Well, I see. He's very excited about plumbing. Aluminum siding game. So I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. I don't think I would be, honestly. People are weird. Nice okay. To see you again, Steve. He really likes his plumbing, and this is Clem Parsons, I guess. Hello there, youngster. They say the aliens I was telling you about, well, they came back last night. Oh. Morning. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers, Clem? Them aliens is wild. <laughs> you don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. He's right. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Right. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. Yeah. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. Cody thinks it's to be all end all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. So who in tarnation did want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? Punch it. Maybe them aliens. I don't know if I want to do that, Bob, but uh, I will tr give sh save it and give it a go. Don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? <laughs> Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. All right, tell me about the alarm system. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her Turn this into a goose game just by ruining everything everyone loves. I suppose. The alarm goes off, sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation. Aliens looking for an alarm. Tarnation. I want to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Hmm. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. I'm but quiet because I'm just listening to this dialogue and I'm like, what is going energy. on? So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can Don't phrase it like that. What? You think you can uh, get one of those? Uh, yeah, that, swap me? that's that. Uh, that sure is an alien head. Line your blind with lead to fool their senses. What? Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods. What is going on? Place. Oh, they love messing around. <laughs> Alien Why Jeff. not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for him to come. It hit a lemon before dying. Oh, it looks like it. Yeah. With zap guns, you darn fool! Don't you know nothing? Sorry, take no place to put the blind out in the field. Now you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Lay across the void, yeah. wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know, that's that's pretty Any nice. Time, Steve. That's really nice to know. Um Clem is the real genius in this. He seems like it, yeah. This guy's straight up catching aliens. 
Um. Uh. Uh. A aliens. Wow. I'm gonna punch this sign. Pastorelli. Oh. Oh, I just. It just. I thought it for some reason it triggered like a cutscene there. I don't. Apparently, punching the sign just makes you leave. Um. That's not the way I clicked, but uh, all right, Steve. So we've been there, in the missile base. Sure, let's go to the missile base. Does does, does that man not have legs? Colonel Buster Monroe. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is. All right, Steve. Okay. All right, the section twenty-one. Keep your distance. That's a lot son. of missiles. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Hmm. Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not That's an really alien. That's really for touching his precious sign. <laughs> you see, there's ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation, keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These pink? are nuclear missiles. Goddamn right they are. That's a lot of nuclear missiles. Ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I oh, gotta do is hit the cold wall. Blammo. The price of vodka goes through the roof. Okay. Along with the vodka. Yeah. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents. Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. <laughs> then... You have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. When right. I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Uh, yeah. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. But he's a motivated guy. You, you've got to give him that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. What a quote. <laughs> After the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, it was too emotional. Why doesn't he have a wheelchair? I think he has a skateboard. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job, and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. <laughs> one of the <laughs> one of the dialogue options is commie bastards. Yeah, yeah, okay. The button. Tell me about the button. Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. You might be onto something there, I mean, Jay. suppose an accident happens. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. Hmm. I keep it on my person all the time. Oh, boy. No commie bastard is getting his <laughs> mitts on his the face. button. No siree, Bob. Oh, my God. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust in Harvest except me. Well, you know, he's... He is committed to his nuclear holocaust. That's his thing. Tell me about the commie bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you? Right um, now? um, you can't shoot me. I'm an American. I have rights. Rights, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. Okay. Would you? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, of course. I would, absolutely. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> you talk a good game, mister. Jimmy so James is gonna blast this guy and steal the button. <laughs> Jimmy James is the real power in this town. Way out of a scrape. Think about that, son. Um, the communists can hardly be said to have a, to hold a monopoly on, monopoly on intellectual discourse. Wow, I didn't think that was going to be a dialogue option. Um, I don't think much about stuff like that, Colonel. I'm just going to say that. Glad to hear it, son. Yeah. You had me going there for a minute, asking all those questions about this base. He's playing psychological warfare with you. This close yeah. Blown away. As it is, maybe you wanna get out of here. I'm just a stupid American. Don't mind me. 
Go visit those Ponzi firemen. I just go to work and do my do, job. Stay away from that damn lodge. That's the most suspicious place in Harvest, mm, if you ask Interesting. Me. He finds it suspicious as well. Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. The game designer had some great Photoshop skills. Well, he absolutely did. Look at that cutout. Absolutely beautiful. Your fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. Um, I'll be sure to stay away from the lodge. You read me wrong, Mister. What? I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. Okay, sure. The report could affect my decision. On what I got to do. Oh, I'm gonna convince him to nuke the town. Yeah, of course. Uh, remember, duck and cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punch him. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, time to punch a man with no legs. Right. Come here. Let's see what happened. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Wait. What? Oh. No. Oh. even touch him <laughs> what is this game that's the best ending that is the best ending <laughs> that went from zero to option two it really did oh my god this game is off the rails um this is a constant mood now did anyone notice his entrails on the ground did his were his entrails uh <laughs> You're gonna put those save names in a frame. Uh, I am. I'm gonna leave this guy alone so I don't end the world. So, meat plant. Uh, G G Gein Memorial School. Whoa. Uh, TV station. Police station. Fire station, newspaper building. Wayward Hotel. Alright, so we we still got quite a few places to visit. Uh, let's go to the... I didn't even punch him, that's a thing! I just walked over and he just started... He, he just pulled out his... He pulled out his assault rifle, started gunning me down, fell on the button and ended the world. It'd just be like that sometimes. Oh, yep, that's a meat plant, all right. Is that a cat? <gasps> it's a cat! We got a... I think that's a kitty cat. Nice. I just accidentally walked on the cat. I don't think it did anything, but <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> that's how the Fallout series died. Oh, that's a lot of cats. Look at all these cats! Wait, is that cat? No! Why did you... Don't tell me the the meat is cats! This... No! This game is now a, a 0 out of 10. Uninstalling. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks. And when Big I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking Punch the butcher. in the business in your dad's absence. I don't know you if they're cooking cats. I don't think so. I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Pat O'Reilly. Can you imagine, like... Can you imagine a more Irish name than Pat O'Reilly? You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication okay. and a strong stomach. Oh. Great. Thank you. A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day, and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. 
Jesus Christ. Course, amnesia would certainly help I don't like that, this. Those dead cats. I don't like what exactly seeing is dead cats. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That. I mean, that's just kind of part of the cause for this game, really, though. Look, this I'm game is gross. About the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe Best me? end. Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. Funny how that's beginning to sound hmm. like a stock answer. Like it was coached. Hmm. You sure are acting like a kidder, son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. You may come to realize that this business Hold on. is and a strong stomach. Ah, I don't want to see that again. I clicked it by accident. Yeah, get off. A lot of times when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of, I'm a shut up. Then by I don't care about your meat. Oh god, I didn't mean that. Don't read you, Steve. <laughs> uh. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. Uh, I will kill again. Oh, he's got a knife! This is a mistake. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Kill him! Kill him! Come on! Die! The cats are just watching. Keep up a cutting. Keep up a cutting, Steve. God, this is is taking it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what a great fight! What a great fight! <laughs> Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just fell over. How hard can it be a punch amount of death? I <laughs> was clicking so much. Uh, I was expecting the continent to explode at least. I know it's part of the. Co you, you want the. Once you've seen the entire, you know, area explode in nuclear fire, and everything else just seems tame. <laughs> Well, I'm done in the cat meat factory. Don't want to visit there again, but I'm probably going to have to at some point. Big sad. Uh, Gein, Gein Memorial School. Let's have a look, shall we? It sure is a game. Oh, Principal Harrell. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Hmm. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. Yeah. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world, and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more it's people... It's still a better combat system than the monkey combat. Yeah. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? Is the school named you after a serial well, killer? Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Oh, you might be right. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. Oh, I think it might I be actually, yeah. Because I vaguely know the story like of this yourself. game, and that actually makes sense. But now, I think maybe you need a little more. That's very edgy. Quality time. Very edgy, if if it is. Hold on. Gene Memorial. Sounds like a cemetery or a hospital, not a school. This institution was named for a great man, whose first name escapes. Oh God. Me. He epitomized the great potential within us all, big guy. I hear there's an honorary plaque commemorating him within the lodge. Why do you keep calling me big guy? Why do you keep calling me big guy? Yeah, exactly. That's a sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you Whose first name escapes me, yeah. Old, so you should always hedge your bets and pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power, or who, even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, it's he quite might creepy, be a member yeah. of the Order, with access to the Lodge. 
If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with you. Hmm. Quality time. What do you mean, quality time? What do time? you mean? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline. Corporal punishment as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Don't say it like that. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. Mm. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense. This guy gives me really bad vibes. I do not like it. And a fit candidate for the law. Very bad vibes. Big guy, born some quality time. The greatest. You know what? I'm I'm leaving. You can uh. In again soon. Adult edge. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want any quality time. <laughs> I don't want that. <clears throat> how do we? All right. That's how we exit. Apparently. Um. TV station. I guess that's another one. It's one of those guys that should be chopped up. That's a lot. In Indians? What? Are they oh, it's oh, okay. That that confused me for a second. It's where they're filming the cowboy show that uh, that 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 Hank is watching. Okay. For a second, I was like, what? <laughs> Are they actually gonna go there? But no, it's. It's part of the whole 50s parody. I don't think I can go in there anyway. <clears throat> I'm just trying to... Edna's diner. Oh, DNA's diner. A 1955 Frag 100 with real leather seat. Alright, let's go in the diner then. Uh, Edna. Steve, what are you doing, sneaking up on me like that? Seen Tony and Fallout look happier. Second, I, I know, right? Mr. Johnson. <sighs> what would you like to order? Um, who are you? Well, you're in <coughs> Edna's diner. That ought to be your first clue. Uh, I thought this was DNA's diner. Hey, yeah, exactly. Very funny. If certain customers would stop pretending to have amnesia and order some food, maybe I could afford to get that sign fixed. Hmm. Might even be able to buy enough extra letters to spell Fitzpatrick. I'm not pretending. She does look a lot like the Fitz, actually. But faking amnesia won't not help anyone. Quite, because if you don't want to marry different. Stephanie, then don't. I think it's just but kind don't of a look. Play sick, for heaven's sake! <coughs> I'd expect that from oh, Karen, not sorry. an 18-year-old. My throat. Karen. You've met Karen, my eight-year-old. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Oh. Yep. That's that's a child. Okay. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie. <laughs> it's the child. You should be grateful that she's promised. I wonder if she would pull out a gun as well. I don't remember that happening, Edna? Honestly, you men are so childish. She seemed normal. Yeah. Well, relatively, yeah. The bravest man into a coward. <clears throat> I was going to yeah. marry Karen's father when he just up and ran out on me one night. I heard that he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Even Sheriff Twain wasn't able to find out what happened to him. Uh... Okay. Mr. Johnson has a... a liking oh. for me. Hmm. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. Oh. He's a bitter man with too much time this on This game leaves me speechless a lot. He's never I just don't know what to say with. ...rejected by the Lodge. And there's something... Unwholesome in the way he mm. me. I'm always glad. The doll is clearly a nuclear warhead. Obviously. Sheriff Dwayne is such a dear man. And I don't just say that because he's my most regular customer. Every single day, rain or shine, he comes in here at noon for lunch. Sits in the same spot, too. <laughs> Going to the missiles. That's at least an hour every day when I can be sure Mr. Johnson won't show up. Okay. You know, it's funny. Dwayne never comes in here with Deputy Loomis, but he frequently dines with Mr. McKnight. You know, the owner of the TV station. <clears throat> Sometimes he comes in with Postmaster Boyle. 
But somehow I don't think they're friends. Nah, I don't need to talk Stop to by that. anytime, Steve. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Um... Um... Child... Punch. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Oh god, I killed her! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! I am. Um, I. Oh. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that? With so many witnesses around. Is that really the problem? You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. I... Oh. Somebody help me! <laughs> what do you people want from me? Oh my god. Too what? Late for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? This is a really fast, uh... Well... Oh god! He's spewing fruit punch! This this game, I am, I I, I um, uh, I didn't think it would, it would actually let me murder a child. That's my mistake, obviously. I am completely speechless at this game so far. Anyway, he just put yeah. I just pushed the I just pushed the child. Once and she just died. Like the, the the meat guy. The meat guy took like 20, 30 punches and wasn't bothered. Child's like Pfft. the traffic cop. All right. Harvester police department. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. Dwayne Dwayne. Of course he is. Pleasure, I reckon. Then, hmm, we haven't met before. Of course we have. Isn't Loomis the uh, your the amnesia. psychologist and guy in Halloween? Along. The I Halloween sure movies. This is just a prank, and not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean. Or you this game is a cutscene for every time you punch someone. That's I know, no right? Place to hold a wedding. <laughs> you thought Harvester was like a farming simulator type thing, and you're not sure if you're disappointed. I I'm not sure if I'm disappointed that I'm playing this. Like, I don't know if I'm horrified. I don't know if I'm elated. I don't know how to feel. I'm feeling every emotion at once. Amnesia. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a kidder, Steve. Yeah, so everybody keeps telling me. Yeah. Boy. You need Boy. to stop all this funning and get serious. You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career and about joining the lodge. I'm gonna try. Disturbed is definitely a good one to sell for, yeah. Tell me about the lodge. I don't mind telling you. Oh, good. I'll never get anything done if not <clears throat> for the lodge's efforts. To join the Order of the Harvest Moon is the highest dream of everyone in Harvest. How can I get an application? Like I said, Unless you get an application on the first day of the month, you're generally out of luck. I guess we need to find a application. Stop by the post office and talk. We've already had a look at the post Boyle. office. You never know; he might have a spare application laying around. Okay. Stop on by any time, Steve. Sure thing, Dwayne. Dwayne. Anything I can help you with? No, no. I I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say a, a very resounding no. Um, that coffee sure smells good. Just looking around. Yep, yourself. Speaking of which, 
your real love no. will be Mary and Stephanie. No. She don't. don't look like a good woman. I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Loomis. Her mercy forbid Mrs. Phelps. Good women can be awful hard on a man's needs, don't you know? A man's needs? Do I dare click what this... Oh, God, there we go. Why, you sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or... No. Waste high, not hold No, no, no. Or jail cell how, are you a, how are you a police officer? Matter of fact, Mrs. No. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get in, it's see clear to part with them. Bring them round with the sheriffs at lunch, and I I'd be obliged. Okay, so apparently we've got to get this guy some smutty postcards. Of course, I don't necessarily mean French postcards. Yeah, I picked up. I picked it That's up. I, I picked up on the subtext. God. The kind of girly picture book. The kind men like. Don't get close to the microphone, voice actor. I heard you get close to the microphone there. I did not like that. If you were to bring me one. Bye. No time, kiddo. No. No. No time. Never. Never. I don't want to talk to half of these people ever again. And... Ugh, newspaper building. Surely the... Oh, yeah, the newspaper building burned down, didn't it? Is that a shovel? Ooh. I wonder if I can dig through the uh, thing and eh. Oh, a thing! A few hidden remnants. Bake. Ah, it's a it's a flyer for the harvest bake sale. Oh, it's a button. Okay, well that's a uh, that's a thing, I guess. Hmm. Um, fire station. We haven't been there yet. Ah, yeah, it's a fire station, all right. Hey, fireman. Please excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom. This... But this garage defies color coordination. Why is the fireman, like, really camp? This is a horror game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Um... <laughs> well, I know it is, but it, it, can you really class it as horror? It's just really weird. I guess this is... Oh, I can go in there, actually. Go on, Steve. That's a really weird walk. What are you doing? I... 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 Excuse me? Are the firemen painting a a a male model? What? Saliva is forming from his barking chops. That, that dog might have rabies. Uh, Sparky, fireman, and male model. How are you doing? I don't converse on the job, Steve. Thank you. That's good to know. Hello, Steve. Why? Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Why is it? Oh, cut it out, bots. Honestly, once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. Why are the firemen all? There you go, spot. Why? <laughs> well, well, why? Why was there a split second cutscene oh, there? Steve, <clears throat> you don't remember me. <clears throat> Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky. I'm I head of your gotta fire admit this is like very dated humor. I mean it's pretty obvious really, but God. Is it was there like some kind of stereotype about firemen being like gay? Is that like a thing? Yeah, the stereotypical stereotypical campmen. But why firemen? This is Ooh. Mm. Where'd you hear about my memory loss? 
Don't be silly. Everyone thinks this amnesia kick is a scream. They do slide what down do poles. That's yeah, I guess. Besides, I guess. It's my what happens if you punch them? The in the I don't know. To better serve you, the public. I'm sure you'll be thrilled when you learn of the many civic. The village groups. people won. We have planned for uh, our fire department. There wasn't a fireman Such in the village as... people, was there? Well. Oh my god. Ten winners lost in Mandrel Maze. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 500 bit donation. I'm going to make new drapes for the firehouse. And if I have. I, I, I love that. that I might need to decrease the volume on that slightly. Um, Those are civic improvements. Don't be such a that, that's a butt. We haven't had a fire in Harvard since the newspaper building, but that. So I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? That dog is going turbocharged. What is going on? What is this? Wasp woman. Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a. He's trying. Don't be mean. <laughs> or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So I feel like I'm losing my mind. So Please play this again. I I will be continuing it next week, I assume. I, I guess I'm going to be finishing this. Unless I get really tired of it. Um, don't be ghost, Steve. Um, newspaper fire. Tell me about that. Dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Well, there's a lot of paper in there. <clears throat> you think it was arson? Oh please! Oh my Blame God! Glad enough to see the thing what is it with homosexual stereotypes and, and lists? I don't know. If you could get into that safe in his wall, why was it, why like yeah. why Look, is that a stereotype? It's so know, bizarre. Fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. I guess stereotypes aren't really. How don't you go moving? Right. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why, just the other day we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. All the dried out paper wasp nests fluffing yeah. around our wooden house. Why, it's a chem law just waiting for the right faggot. Okay. Believe me. None of us wants to see another fiat. Right. The sentinel fire. Guess that word's in there. Right. Sure. Ooh. Sure is the 90s. I apologize for broadcasting that. <laughs> this game is kind of a mess. <clears throat> More seventies, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Uh, Don't bother me. I'm sketching. Oh look, what you made me do. Okay, well you know. That's that's uh. Hmm. This is meant to be a fifties parody, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it, that's what it's meant to be, but, uh... I mean, you know, I've, you, th there are, you know, camp gay men. They exist, but not, like, to the degree that they get portrayed as in a lot of, like, 90s and early 2000s stuff. Like, there is, like, just there's just a slight... It's just a kind of... I don't know how to explain it, but it's just... Just the way some people are sometimes, and that's fine. But I don't get why it's, like, a a big thing for a lot of stereotypes I don't know I don't get it I just don't get it <laughs> the world is a strange place and the people in it have very strange twisted views the way way war in there's nothing wrong with camp gay man but how the media portrays it is bad yeah exactly too much for you yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. Uh, what 
Right. Stephen. Who are you? Oh. I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, this game's a little bit edgy, isn't it? Steve. Besides, as one who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my... Some with a sensible fashion sense in this game. Is that Keanu Reeves? What are you Just have a bit about? of a Keanu Reeves-esque... My complaints were sent uh, to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the order of the Harvest Moon... They were trying to cash in on the video game Panic the of the 90s. Yeah, it, it does seem quite try-hard to me. Yeah, exactly. Mortal Kombat and Night Trap. And it, it kind of feels like it has elements of both of those games. Kind of looked very babby in the 90s. Uh, bake sale. Tell me about the bake sale. This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums. Yeah, Night Trap is, Night Trap is just like. Who wander into Harvest uninvited. Uh, then slapstick. The up yeah, pure cheese. Not shelters. Great. Night Trap. You see a great number of these hobos die while <laughs> passing through. You can farm, yeah. Don't ask me why. It's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen. Memory or no. If they were involved in setting up home shelters... Mortal Kombat wasn't very triad, no. And why would I be sustaining losses? I mean, yeah, it had the whole, like, fatality thing, but... You look at it now and it's like, that's not much, really. The twist is Night Trap is sick. I, I don't really know if I know the twist in Night Trap. As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the Blood Drive and the Bake Sale, the Lodge ensures that all are... Okay, me. I don't... I'm, Pardon me, there are... Why should I... I'm bored of this dialogue. I don't care about this guy. If I'm, I'm sorry, I don't care about this guy. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but... Go away. You're so dull. Um, I think I've pretty much nearly explored everywhere now. Let's just ha see if there's... Oh, there's the, the Johnson residence and the abandoned house and the cemetery. Cemetery, let's just see if there's... Oh, God, that's really ominous in the distance. I'll have a little look in here. I don't like the vibes here. This is not good vibes. The headstone of this grave cites Jonathan A. Rhinecliffe. The air here reeks of fresh soil and manure. Boxcar Willie? Uh, and the unnamed hobo. Right. Unmarked. Another unknown visitor. Okay. Picnic table. Ah. Another resting place among the graves. That's a pretty cool description, actually. I really like that. That's actually... That, that's a neat bit of writing. I must admit. <laughs> Zombie crawls out the ground. Oh, you always were a kid, Steve. Our doors have been sealed shut. Hmm. I'm sure we'll have something to do here at some point. Good writing in Harvester. It has bits and pieces that are interesting. That's the thing. But then there's a lot of it that's just really trying to be offensive and edgy. And it's just kind of crass. Um, Shady Oaks Mortuary. I don't think I've been there, actually. Yeah, better writing and less tryhard. I feel like there could be potential for something interesting here. Uh, Harvester 2. <laughs> How did you get here so quick? Well, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna you can you can just stay there, dude. Uh <laughs> This is very eerie. A hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some ethereal power in the other. Huh. A Satan kneels before a shepherd, jubilantly terrified. Hmm. 
make a campaign from Stephanie's perspective. Well, I tell you what, they'd have to, they would definitely have to recast Steve. Because I imagine he's still in prison. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Oh, this is the How's Mr. The Johnson. Be? Other than having no memory, I guess. You'd have to recast right. everyone. I would hope so. All right. You should be ecstatic. Campaign where you're grounded the whole time. What you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, oh. I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. He really is. So if I were him, he loves his meat. I'd be more concerned about Stephanie. Getting some meat. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, you always were a kid, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Of course his name is Mr. Just Johnson. Just waxing the tucker. I could use a little Waxing the tucker, oh my god. But since Edna's not here, I might as well Ugh. talk to you. You are a weird creep. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. Are you sure about that? If I was interested, that is. Hmm. Just because she <clears> has <throat> DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. Oh! Well, she needs a good, hard penis. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Why is that a dialogue option? Why is that a dialogue option? Why is that a dialogue option? Ugh. I... I don't want to click it, but I have to know. I have to know. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? Why am I clicking this? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that... Punch him. Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? He's over at DNA's diner every day from noon to one. Eating his dad gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure it's the only diner in town. But I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. It's somewhere, uh, you know, Lifty Lou, it's somewhere between the two, I would say. Tell you what, tell you what, this guy is not getting away without a little bit of violence. No pee pee for you. Come here, buddy. Hold on, can I equip like a sh the shovel somehow? Hold on. Hold on, wait, what? Right click to arm disarm. Here we go. Sorry, Steve. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Bye now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig you a grave. <laughs> well, I got him. I got him, guys. I got, <laughs> got him. Well. Um. I'm not gonna keep. Uh. I'm not gonna keep that save because I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if, if. You know. And the town was better off. I mean, you're right. You're right. Abandoned house. That's the only place we haven't visited. Yeah, that sure is an abandoned. Oh, that's the place with the, with the, the wops. Oh, and Tetsu Crumb. It's not often that I get visitors. Hi. I'm Tetsu Crumb. The ignorant of Harvest called me the Wasp Woman. Oh. Majorative, no doubt. Born of fear and of poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The Wop Woman. The politics of can't get arrested if you kill the cops. The That's very true. Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. Have I played this game before? No, I haven't, Keller. 
I only know a few things about it. So I've been caught off guard numerous times. I mean, if, I, people have been making clips of all the, the wacky things that have been happening. So if you, if you want to see some of my reactions to various things in this game, I recommend having a look. Um, honey. The politics of honey. The politics of honey. With the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise wasps instead of bees, I'm sugar upon by the community. Why? Honey, honey, do, do, well, do, do, raising do, bees do. is acceptable because they I'm getting distracted. produce honey. But sometimes it's not what is produced. So much as what I was doing my own honey song. Performed. I don't see any particular use for wasps. Why must everything have a use? I don't know. Is money always the determining factor? More slender, more aerodynamic than the beast. She really does like wasps. Oh. Is a joy to be oh. Yep. Beautiful. Hey, honest, how you doing? And juicy. Isn't that enough to come? Juicy? For the little drawbacks? You say juicy? Did you just call wasp juicy? No! Don't! Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and I'd say punch her. <laughs> nothing more. They spread into ease and attics. You caused this honest. You voted for this. For supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda, growing stealthily, surely. The most no, not again. Of insects. Wasps, the vultures of the insect world. What are the drawbacks? Well. As you can see, what can I see? The little darlings do love to stick. Well, yes, yeah, they kind of characterized by that prejudice. For the prejudice, masses. they're little bastards. And another reason to love little, them. little bastard insects. Bees are like animals; they sting only for a reason, for sacrifice. They have no conception of individual sensation, of pleasure. Hmm. Oh. I don't I don't like it when a word comes up as a dialogue option like that. Yes. A great deal of pleasure. Hmm. Was is a I am on comfort. Not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. She does have a weird wasp fetish. I do Some not think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh. And the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom. This could is be likened to the muscular contractions oh. of ejaculation. I do not Each like those words in that order. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Goodbye, wasp woman. I hope I never see you again. I, I I don't even want to punch her. The wasps will probably kill me. I uh, I uh. We need to get that dirty magazine or whatever postcards. What was it? Something that we need to get a thing for the creepy creepy sheriff guy, don't we? Very of items for sale. Let's have a look. Um, that's yeah. That's probably it. That's probably it. Jesus Christ. Uh, we need to pay. All right. Um, I've got a quarter. The only thing a quarter will buy was an adult magazine. A girly magazine? Why, Steve, I'm surprised at you. It's not for I'd me. I expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's the game told me I have to do it. Girly magazines behind my counter. 
darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. Okay. Well... Yep. 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 Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Favorite line from the game synopsis on GOG: Perform random acts of sabotage, blackmail, murder, evidence tampering, and many more innocent pranks. Yeah, innocent. Hmm. Hey, creepy old man, I got your creepy goods. Here you go. Oh. Oh. No, don't make those noises. George. Please don't. Oh, bad Jiminy. No. Oh, this here's the real No, no, thing. no. Oh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> no. Oh. Stop it. Oh, thank you, Steve. Excuse me. You know, no. I gotta go check the jail for mm. clean tiles. Oh God. No. Don't. Sh hey, all right. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, I can at least have a look in here now. Yep, I got a key, uh, a note, sure, I'll take it, and a checkbook, sure, um, which room did he go in? I'm gonna quickly save, uh, sneaky sneak while he beat the meat, that seems like a good save name, uh, <laughs> Let's go. Uh, is this dull? Not surprisingly, luminous. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, sneakers? Oh, sneakers! For Jimmy! Uh, Jimmy, whatever his face. Jimmy James? What was he called? Gas can. Take it. Camera. Take it. Uh, hat. I don't need the hat. Shaving kit. Don't need that, apparently. Bear. Binoculars. Plain. Beer. Cap. Uh, plunger. An engine. Padlock? No. Toast? Why is there toast in here? The most improbable of all wo <laughs> murder weapons. Toast. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Hello, Steve. Where's Loomis? Um, oh no, oh no, no, no! Lemus, have you? What? Wait, no, 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 no! What it? I. I. I... I'm just gonna... I... There was a bottle in the room I didn't notice. Hold on. I can't get it. They censored the, the one act of violence that wasn't bloody. <laughs> Imprisoned for the haunting. Okay, no problem, Unicorn. I'm sorry this game is the way it is. <laughs> it is it is a mess. That's uh that's the only way I could really uh describe it. <clears throat> um Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a funny mess, at least. Yeah, it's got its moments. But then it's got its moments of... Ooh. As well. I wonder if there's somewhere I can, like... Um... Hmm. I don't know where I'd be, actually. Uh, b -b 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 I think there might be something in the diner that I've missed. I'm gonna have a little look. There are plenty of crazy things that have already happened here. It is... Draw. An unlocked draw. Don't mind if I do. Uh, s screwdriver? Uh, and that's it. Well, I'll take that. And then there's Sheriff Hello Dwayne. There, Steve. Here for lunch? Sure. No. Just What did you miss? Oh, Frank. Well, you I'm missed entirely sure. You missed uh Deputy Loomis oh, uh beating his meat and then this guy beating him up. Frank. Well, boy. I, I this is the pretty much it. Diner. Isn't that right, Edna? Don't listen to Sheriff Dwayne. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. Not the E. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It's a great place. Hey, Super Tony the Tiger, how you good. doing? Since it's the only place to eat and harvest. Okay. Stop on by any time, Steve. E. Gotta love that E. <laughs> Trying to think where I could possibly need to be. Actually, let's have a look at the. Uh, this is a really awkward to use inventory screen. Let's have a look at the checkbook. Um, I can't read any of this, and I don't know what it's used for. Oops. I keep right-clicking to go up my inventory. A note, sheriff. If you think I'm going to keep paging, paging? Is that what that says? This handwriting is not good. If you think I'm going to keep, oh, paying, paying this forever, you are crazy? There are limits. Boil. Hmm. Wouldn't it be interesting? Uh, if we could possibly blackmail him with that. Ah, I thought I saw a copy here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Free copies made here. Yes, we can make a copy of that. Did I get my copies? Hold on. Hold on, is that, is that a copy there? Wait, 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 wait. Aggressive shop bell. Oh, four copy of note. And then let's copy this as well. <laughs> Three copies made here. Why does... Hold on a minute. Why does Steve have a picture of himself in his inventory? Looking like that. Hey, JZH. <laughs> Health indicator. I mean, that's what it says. Yeah. You're looking all like, hey, I'm Steve. Right. It's his ID. Um, probably, probably make the most sense. Like Doom, only not. Um, post office. Boil. I don't know what's going to happen if I show him these, actually. And that blind lady is still trying to read a mail. Um. Boyle, I got the receipts. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. What does this mean? What does it mean? Um, I know why the sheriff is blackmailing you. Hmm, this is unexpected and awkward. But oh my boy, it's harvest day. It sure is. That darn gas can at the newspaper building the day after the fire. 
He has this insane notion that it's mine. I pay him, not because I'm guilty, but because I don't want him slurring my good name around Harvest. Oh, right? Naturally. Yeah, of course. You know, he keeps that gas can in the evidence room at his office. Oh, the gas can. I'd be really grateful to whoever could fetch me that can. Grateful enough. <laughs> Boyle's wig has been snatched. The There's not a lot there to snatch. Oh, and Steve, you'll keep this to yourself. If you're smart. Right. So, yeah, about that uh, gas can, I, I already have oh it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. After all this time. It's just Where's a... my application, Boyle? Here, take it. With my thanks. Yeah. You know, this morning as I was making my Threatening rounds, postman. I noticed an awful Glass lot of <laughs> television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each Is he day. falling asleep in his dialogue option? You got uh, in his dialogue screen, sorry? Time, youngster. I may have need Looks like he's falling asleep. What do you mean? There's another reason why Sheriff <clears throat> Duane didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. Ooh. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. He's so tired of all this haunting. Yeah, there? I know that feels. Oh, whoa, Steve. Putting your hands on your hips there. Oh, and folding your arms. Wow. Well, look at that. Are you just going to keep keep tapping your foot and folding your arms? All right. Oh, uh, and back to uh, back to uh, hands on hips. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna talk to the blind girl. I don't think you can talk to her. It just says she's trying to read a mail, and she's just stood there like a cardboard cutout. Yep. Yeah, let's go. I feel like we missed something at the meat factory because I wanted to leave there quickly because it's all all of the cat death. Which I'm not a fan of. I don't like it. And we also tried to kill him earlier. Can't talk now, Steve. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <clears throat> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer mm. cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Yeah, that sign is not aged well. That's a... Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting <sighs> costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Um... I'm sure it's good. Could I have some meat to take home? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No free. We know what we're anyone. doing here, Steve. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working and you're cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things. If you're creative. <clears throat> Don't be such a str Uh, well, I... Oh, this is the... That's a, that's a meat permission slip. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't think we need to be there. Um... Let's go to the lodge. Because I believe we got the uh, lodge application. Yeah. Uh, where's the pen? Use pen on lodge That's application. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. All right. There you go, buddy. I see you've managed to acquire oh. an application. That That's oh, that's the guy that was present at the, the execution scene. For his voice. You need a rest. I'll get Don't you next time, Gadget. For your next assignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dr. Claw. <laughs> it looks like Vinny Fine Sauce. <laughs> I mean, I ain't. 
Oh god. No, Steve! Don't take your clothes off! No! No! I don't want to see it. <laughs> Shake your chest. Ah! What is going on? <laughs> My god. Is that a guy's eyes being ripped out? Was that the save screen? Yeah, it looks like the save screen. I've got the perspective. I guess we just, we made progress then. Uh, save game. Do we only have a certain amount of slots? Alright. Uh, bad dream? Hmm. Same clothes, no shower. Yeah, put on a clean shirt, you gross... Ugh. I don't even have a word for you, Steve. Don't even have a word for you. All right, we need to get the give the paper to Jimmy. And he's still, he's still uh, eh. still watching those cowboys. Same clothes, no shower, unshaved chest. Hey Jimmy, please don't hurt me. Here's your paper. Um. There now, see how easy it is. Things are so much better before. Uh. When you remember the paper in the morning. Sorry, Jimmy James. Let's keep him that way. Case. Oh, the, I, hold on a minute. I put the. You wanted some new shoes? Swell. Here's the keys to the broom closet at Gein Memorial. That's where they meet every day. About 3 45, as soon as everyone has gone home. Sometimes I hide in there beforehand. And Daddy O, I see some stuff that's real nasty. Take it from me. You made a good swap. This child scares me. This child is terrifying. <laughs> Everyone knows that the true the true power in this town lies in Jimmy James. The paper boy. Um I guess let's have a look at that place then. It's the what, the the Gein Memorial? <clears throat> Which one's the broom closet? Uh, there it is. Where's the key? There we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no no no! Mighty Bob Barker cheered five bits. Nailed it. Thank you for the bit donation, Mighty Bob Barker. <laughs> I, this game... I, I don't feel like I... This feels like I'm just playing it through a fever dream. Good grief. Oh, hold on. Can I... Uh, oops, excuse get out, me. Damn you. Get out now. <laughs> well, I just got some incriminating evidence. Yeah, it's a really bad inventory screen. It's so terrible. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um. Actually, I, c I could just straight blackmail them right now, couldn't I? You smug, filthy little bastard. Put that away now. <laughs> oh, no. Did I miss something? Uh. <laughs> Hold on. I feel like there's got to be something you can do with that, right? 
Okay. I feel like I might have messed up somehow. I think I think you'd be better off showing it to them right away. Um If anyone knows the game, let me know if I messed up that. I don't know if I did. <laughs> Mrs. Krabappel and Principal Skinner were in the closet making babies, and I saw one of the babies, and then the baby looked at me. <laughs> I mean, that's basically, yeah, basically uh, what we just did. Uh, I wonder if we have any update on the, um, the Lodge application. What's up, buddy? I take it you wish to be initiated into the mysteries of the Order of the Harvest Moon. I love farming games. Very well. Know then that securing the application was but the first step on your road to enlightenment. Oh yeah. Now you must How much did this guy smoke? Of tasks well, I don't know. Your worthiness as an initiate. Sure. What kind of tasks? Mine are pranks, really. Oh, we, we're pranking. Minor prank, eh? I'll bet. What have you got in mind? There is in Harvest a man named Mr. Johnson. Oh, I know him. He owns a tucker. It is his pride and joy. I should like you to put a scratch. You want me to scratch a tucker? A scratch. That's all. Okay. As I said, a minor <clears throat> prank. Mind you, you are not to damage the vehicle. Merely put a single scratch in it. Right. Once you have done so, return here, and I shall give you your next. Go <laughs> shoot someone. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna scratch up uh, Mr. Johnson's car. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be a thing, I guess. I'm gonna save because uh, I'm. Uh... Uh, oh, scratching Johnson. Johnson's Tucker. There we go. Um, I get the feeling he's not going to like this. Screwdriver? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stay out of there! Uh... How do I... Let me... I'm just... Let me... <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Let's kill him first, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course. Key? Key the car? You rotten son of a bitch, bitch, bitch! That's Shit, three man. bitches! Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. Hey, whoa! Oh, my God! He's gone, he's gone haywire! I don't think I was supposed to do that. Uh... Oh, never mind. I've been caught. Yep. We've seen this cutscene. You're under. Yeah, we've seen this. Yep. It's all good. Okay, so we. I don't think. I don't think we can do it while he can see. Um. So we're gonna. We're gonna have to be a little bit more. I guess. I don't know, um... Quiet about this? Trick him to go to the diner? That might be a good idea, actually, yeah. I'm gonna see if the... any... Let's just have a look around. I wanna ask the post office guy some more questions, because, you know, I did blackmail him. What's up, Sorry, Mo son. No time to talk. Neither nope. rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. Okay. Button? It's been missing for months now. I keep meaning to get another, but, huh. well, the button's very distinctive. I'd have to file an S-411 with Washington to get okay. another. Okay. I just don't need the extra paperwork. Sure wish I could find it. I think I know where the button is. Next time you put... I think I've got a button, haven't I? Is it this? My button. Why, I lost that months ago. Where did you find it? 
Funny thing, that. I found it in the ashes. At the mm. newspaper building. What are you implying? That I oh. had something to do with no, setting no, no, the fire? No, 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 I'm not implying that. Why a hundred not people implying must have that. visited that site since the fire? But none of them have buttons like this. You just try showing that button to Sheriff Duane, son. He'll laugh you right out of his office. Okay. I think there's anything else in here. These mailboxes seem hardly used. Hmm. Well. Manhole key. A manhole key is stuck in top of the manhole cover. I wonder if I can... lube it up. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound effect. <laughs> Well, we got that now. Don't like that. Don't like that. Um, Nightfall descends when harvest. Oh, okay. What did you miss? I, I lubed up a, a manhole key. Here we go. Johnson residence, right? Oh, the car's not in outside. Oh, but I got the manhole key thing. Here we go. Small passageway leads into the sewers. Let's go. I'm gonna save. Uh. Uh, manhole. <laughs> I don't. Know, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> right. Uh. Interesting. Hmm. Corroded wall. I wonder if I can. Ah. Arming shovel. Let's head over, head over here. Hey, let's go. Oh. I can't... Let me just... Just try using it normally then. Damn it. Well that well that didn't work. No, let me... God, move out the way, Steve! Steve! <laughs> there we go. Oh, here we go. We're going. We're entering the tunnels underneath this dude's house, presumably. We're going to great lengths to scratch up his car. Uh, cans, oil pan. I need to. I'm gonna unequip this. Hold on. Right. Um. Ooh. Here we go. Is that a pitchfork? Old rusty pitchfork. I got it. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Dolly? I guess I got that in there as well. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, anything else? Uh, tool bench. What's on the tool bench? Um, is there a, oh, screwdriver. Okay. Another screwdriver. Why do we need more than one? Burn down his house. What's on the tool bench? Tools, of course. Uh, <laughs> let's use the Phillips screwdriver. That might be the better option. I don't know. <laughs> yes! Did it. Yes. Now we make our hasty escape. Consider yourself pranked, Mr. Johnson. We got him! We got him, guys. I didn't take the gas. I don't think I need that. Oh, fine, I'll check. I'll check. I, I don't think it, I don't think I... Hold on, let's have a look. 
Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. How else do you burn down the bees? I don't know. Oh, can I double click? Oh, that's so much more helpful, actually. Um. I wonder what the, uh... Hmm. Where now? Hmm. Let's have a look. I wonder what the cemetery's like at night. It might be some kind of uh, untoward here doing some mischief. Oh! Yeah, I, the, the sure is one. Okay. Hi! Mr. What are you doing? Mr. Potsdam? Hour, Mr. Potsdam? I'm burying our cat. She passed away and oh, I'm no. her. Go away and mind I'm your sorry. own. I'm sorry. Then where's the cat? I I left her at home. Now leave me alone! Hmm. That's not suspicious. I'll have the matches if you don't mind. Um Okay, Mr. Potsdam. If you look yeah, if you're looking for me, I don't think you're gonna find any that's fresh. Goodbye, Mr. Potsdam. You have fun digging your hole. Uh Okay. So you yeah, I did it. Did I your first <laughs> the berry cut home, I know, right? Now that you've scratched the tucker, you may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. All right. Cool. Um, and so I'm so bad. Well, I'll do it. Use whatever means. This guy isn't that scary. Nah, he's just like evil man. Hey, I got outside the lurch. You'll learn cool. to that is not pleasant on the throat. <clears throat> He's just looking out the window. What do you see? Curse your gadget. I'm not going to try that voice anymore. It's too painful. No, Steve, not again! <laughs> no! We've seen this enough times! Ah, he's so pasty white. Are we getting more? We're doing more dreams. Conceal, don't feel. Wow! Burger. Guy with his eyes being ripped out, and a dude being electrocuted, and screaming. And it's this, it's this exact same cutscene, actually. This is, um... This sure is a situation. Yeah, put that shirt back on. The exact same one. Steve must be really ripe at this point. Like, that's a, that's a ripe... That's a ripe Steve right there. Tell you what. Let's do the, uh... Let's go do the things. I haven't Hello, talked dear. to... We didn't actually talk to, um... Her By yesterday. Way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's living. No! Seems someone scratched up his priceless tucker. If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. Really? His daughter Karen has disappeared. Oh, God. Karen was playing outside as Edna closed the diner, and that's the last anyone Why didn't you lead her? with that one? <laughs> sure, that's more important than the car. What day did she disappear? This happened Tuesday night. That's all I know, except for what's on the posters. Bye. Don't oh, God, the guy in the cemetery, yeah. Do. You know how he gets. It's the Potsdam. Okay, that's suspicious. All right, we gotta gotta make sure Jimmy doesn't uh, kill us again. So, uh... 
Here you go, Jimmy. Don't hurt me. There now. See how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. Yep, yep. And let's keep them that way. Okay, Jimmy James. We should at least go rescue Karen. I mean, probably. What's your question, Drifting Light? I'm gonna save my game. Why does Jimmy want the paper? I don't know. I think he gets, like, told to collect papers or something. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, I'm just gonna say this as daily routine. Jimmy scares me. Looks like I gotta send you to the Dilly Darn Shadow Realm, Jimbo. <laughs> um. Oh, 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 actually, tell you what. Let's see if we can find out what uh, Mr. P Mr. Potsdam was doing. So late at night. Is that a frisbee on the roof? Probably is. Hmm. What the? Oh my god. Thank god I found you. Right, what? I want to go home. This isn't Can normal. To my mommy's store or to the policeman? Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. Why? I do anything, I promise. Why? How? How? Why? He made what? Me play house. Then what he is going home. on? Please. I just want to go home now. Please. Can you tell me your address, honey? That line has Just aged poorly. To the store or the policeman. Please, mommy said to go to the policeman if I got lost. And I'm lost. Okay, um. Bye bye. I guess Karen screws up ahead of you. Right. I'm not just gonna show her that. Let's, let's, let's go to the uh, 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 Edna's diner. I found your lost child. She was buried, but fine. Um. Oh my God, Karen! <laughs> Thank God. What happened? Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Yeah, this. Thank you, Steve. There's Thank definitely something up with Karen. Us. Here, here's the reward money. Take it and go. How come? I need to be alone with my baby. How right come? Now. How come I can punch Karen once and she dies, but Mr. Potsdam buries Karen alive and she survives the whole night? How does that work? Air holes. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's feasible. Um, living porcelain doll. That's also a possibility, I guess. Um, what, what did the lodge want me to do again? So. You yes. Now that you've scratched the oh yeah, yeah yeah. The fabric from the uh, the fireman. That's what it was. Okay. Um. I think we might need some. Tell you what. I think we may need some meat. Uh. And the and the reason we're gonna need the meat is because there's that dog in the fi in the fire station. Uh, I don't like this place. I don't like the cat meat situation. It maketh me uncomfortable. Um, give me the meat. I don't get it. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, never mind. I need to get someone to sign it, don't I? Never mind. 
Um, I don't know what to go next. Hmm. I do not know where to go next, actually. Um, the school? That fire alarm is calling to me. Maybe, oh, maybe I can get the, the fire, fire brigade guys to, to go away. They go over here, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I can head over to the, uh... And the principal doesn't even notice that I did that. Now I can go over to the fire station. Wait, where is it? Here. Time to do crimes. Oh, is that a fire axe? I'll have that. And a ladder. I'll take that as well. <laughs> I could just keep a whole ladder inside my pocket. That's just how it be in adventure games sometimes. Um... Can I not go in? I can't go inside right now. Right. Okay. I guess I'll just uh, leave for the time being then. I think I need to get the. Uh... <laughs> I think I need to get the permission slip signed by Steve's dad. So I still think we need to do the whole dog thing. Um. Right. Oh. There's a light glow from behind the cabinet. Can I move this somehow? Whoops. Can I possibly move it? Yeah, this child does have a serious TV addiction. Furniture dolly. Ooh. Let's do that then. Hmm. Turn off the alarm system. I don't know why I need to do that, but uh, I think because I think we need to get into into Dad's room, and now I'm afraid because I don't know what's in there. Uh, a Dad room. What is in the Dad room? Who knows? Oh, we definitely need some kind of screwdriver to do this. The straight slot one. Okay. Damn it, damn it. Well, well oh, that didn't man. work. <laughs> Not that one, then. Maybe this one? Aha! Damn it. Okay. Um. This is. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm afraid. No. No. I don't want to examine the sex toys. Where can I click that's not that? No, leave that there. If any of it turns up missing. Oh God. Marv, what's going on in there? No. <laughs> Go. Go. Um, hey dad, I, could you sign this permission slip for me? I need some meat, and Pat won't give me any without your son. I weird. You Go came in at exactly the wrong time. Here, son. <laughs> teacher, take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Now go, son. Before she comes back. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. I'm. You, I cannot leave fast enough. <laughs> I'm running. I guess. Uh. You know, Dad may have signed Steve's meat slip, but uh, his meat slip was signed a long time ago. I I do have several questions. Why was he fo covered in bandages? That's what I want to know. So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? Oh, he's fine. He's recovering nicely. Good, glad to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Son, you run along now. A new shipment of animals is coming, Ech. and it's time to start cutting. I don't like it. I got meat now. Yep, I got some meat. 
I got me the... I got the cat meat. Hey, well, you know. Nightfall is hands upon harvest. Okay. We out here at night again. I guess we got to the fire station. Um, do it another nightly prank. Uh, <laughs> you don't. You don't want to know. Nightly, night, nightly pranks. Nightly pranks. Um. Would you like me? Would you like me? Why is the model still there, by the way? Why are you still there? Jeez, what are you doing? Why are you still there? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. Yep. You just hang out here. All this, this is. I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. What the heck? A person is his job. Someday what to heck? That. What to heck? Because you'll be dead. Dead? What Have you is gotten going on? Location in yet? Yeah. Good. You may survive yet. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Mm. Mm. Uh. Sure. Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object... Is this guy job, okay? Our... Since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light invoked is light shed. You want me to turn a light on? Okay. That's a thing. Uh... I like it too high up to reach. Then maybe I use the ladder? Well, that didn't work. All right. Okay, using the ladder, you climb up and retrieve a piece of cloth in the wall light. Why is it in there? What is going on with this game? I. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um. All right. Having acquired the cloth, you make your way home or back to the house after an exhausting day. Where does he go to the toilet? Don't question it. <laughs> Weird, this point-and-click logic is, is far beyond anything. You have not seen the, re the rest of what this game had to offer. It is baffling. It is baffling. <laughs> I, I... No, no! He's taking... It's, it's the... Yet another time he's taking his shirt off. Oh god. Uh, I'm just numb to it now. I'm numb to his his soft, hairy body. And this dream. Steve! Wait, where's the burger? Where's the burger? A uh, bugger! I don't think it's unskippable, but uh... Oh, you know. <laughs> Burger. All right. I think, uh, and I'm I'm sorry to uh, to end this uh, cavalcade of madness, but uh, I I think that's a good place to to finish off. I've done two and a half hours, so that's about what I would usually stream for, and we've reached a pretty good stopping point. So, um, I, I I'm kind of enjoying this more than I thought I would. I thought I would absolutely hate it. And I, I am hating ab parts of it. Um, <laughs> I am absolutely hating parts of it. But it, it's just so weird. And so... It just it, it constantly keeps you on your toes by throwing something horrifying and bizarre at you. 
And yeah, it's it's certainly a thing. I'll definitely have to do a video on this at some point because my god, there is so much I can make jokes about. <laughs> this is freaky, not weird. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to use your name in vain. I'm sorry, okay? You kind of want to keep playing just to know how, how it derails next. Yeah, exactly. And this has been probably one of my most popular streams. Like, you guys have been absolutely bumping in the chat today. And that's <laughs> that's been really fun. Um, there's nothing better than a chat that's full of people talking. I, I always love that. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for coming along. This has been brilliant. When's the next stream? I stream um, weekly for each playthrough. So, the, by... That's not a good way to explain it. Um, I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Um, this is the Thursday stream, which means I'll be continuing next Thursday. Because uh, I have Adventure Thursdays. And then Tuesday and Sunday are Scarfy plays, which are two of the playthroughs at the moment. Um, so, coming up this Sunday, I will be continuing Pathologic 2. Uh, and on Tuesday, I will be playing Spiral Reignited. And I'll be starting Spyro 2, actually, in that. And, obviously, next Thursday, we'll be doing part two of Harvester. Uh, save it here and go trigger the nukes. I, I've got to show Weird the nukes. Weird, are you still here? I need to show you. Uh, actually, let's just, let's just save. I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, end of Strem. I don't need to actually go all the way over there. I can just reload a save from before. Um, I'll just reload this save and show him. So this is a save called Time to Punch a Man with No Legs. <clears throat> and uh, without further ado, I would like to show you once again the majesty of this cutscene. And there you go. <laughs> that was that's a that's a that's a game over. <laughs> what do you think of that, weird? What do you think of that? I have no words. <laughs> so yeah, um, Pathologic two on Sunday, Spire on Tuesday, more Harvester next Thursday. I would like to thank you all for coming along to this. Really bizarre stream. I hope to see some of you next Thursday, uh, where we'll be making more progress in Harvester. But until then, I hope you all have a nice evening, or whatever kind of time of day it is where you are. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.